Hello everyone, good evening. So we were solving the questions of BSDS 2024 sample paper, right? Now we have done till question number nine. So now we have question 10 in front of us. Now question 10 is a sum on basic algebra, right? We have to first simplify this expression and then calculate the value of the sum of the first 24 terms. Now how do we simplify this expression? To simplify this expression, you just have to look into the formula. So what does this look like? You can see that we have 2n plus 1 and 2n minus 1, right? What happens if you add them? 2n plus 1 plus 2n minus 1, these two things add up to 4n. And that is what you have here, right? That means you have the sum of the squares of these, isn't it? So I can write root over of 2n whole square and root over of 2n minus 1 whole square, that is 4n. So I have the sum of squares there and 2n plus 1 into 2n minus 1 is by the formula of a square minus b square I have 4n square minus 1. So what do I have definitely in the numerator? In the numerator I effectively have the a square plus b square plus ab term. Now I don't have a plus b whole square because it's a square plus b square plus ab, right? So how will I manage it? Now if you don't want to write all of these large terms you just take let m equal to root over of 2n plus 2. Okay, let us not take m and n, let us take p and q. That will be much easier to maintain the variables. All right, so what do we have now? We have LHS will be p square plus q square plus pq by p plus q. Right, this is what we have. So what do we do? We multiply by p minus q. Now if we multiply by p minus q, what happens to the numerator? The numerator becomes p cube minus q cube, right? Hopefully you remember that formula and the denominator becomes p square minus q square. Now what would be p cube minus q, q cube? Before that, let us calculate what would be p square minus q square. p square minus q square would be 2n plus 1 right because p was root over 2n plus 1 so p square would be 2n plus 1 and q was root over 2n minus 1 so similarly q square would be 2n minus 1 so if I subtract it I'll get 2 <coughs> so the LHS becomes p cube minus q cube by 2 now if I put in the original values I have 2n plus 1 to the power square root is already there so to the power 3 by 2 minus 2n minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 and whole divided by 2. So therefore my expression simplified to 2an equal to 2n plus 1 to the power 3 by 2 minus 2n minus 1 to the power 3 by 2. Remember we have this 2 on the left hand side. Okay. So now let us look into how the terms would look like. I have to sum these from term 1 to term 24 right. That is what they want. So if I want that then a1 twice of a1 would be 2 into 1 a 3 to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 right twice of a2 that would be 5 to the power 3 by 2 minus 2 into 2 for 3 to the power 3 by 2 right so if I add a1 and a2 twice of a1 and twice of a2 what would I get I would get the first term cancelled and the last term the leading coefficient remaining right so if I add twice of a1 plus a2 I'll have the initial term for the last term this one remaining 5 to the power 3 by 2 and the intermediate terms will get cancelled right because I'm adding them and the second term from the first portion will remain so minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 so if I were to extend this If I were to extend this, see, I am writing it like this because this is not going to be evaluated by the NCRT or some boards that are expecting subjective answers, right? I am doing it so that you know how to think, all right? So do not worry or feel insecure about writing these type of statements in the rough space. No one is going to check the rough space, all right? So this is what you will think. If you extend this logic, some 
ट्वाइस ऑफ के इक्वल टू वन टू ट्वेंटी फोर ए ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर सो दिस वुड बी टू इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस वन दिस थिंग टू द पावर थ्री बाई टू माइनस दैट वन विल रिमेन बिकॉज वट एवर यू डू दैट वन डिड नॉट गेट कैंसल राइट माइनस वन टू द पावर थ्री बाई टू now what is this i have twice of whatever the value it's required let's name it ak right because that is what we have to calculate so twice of ak would be equal to uh, this is uh, i'm sorry the bracket will not be at 24 plus 1 this will be 2 into 24 and then plus 1 right because it's 2n plus 1 so 2 into 24 plus 1 so this is 48 plus 1 49 to the power 3 by 2 That means forty nine root will be seven and seven cube will be three forty three. So this is three forty three minus one. Now what do we end up with? Twice of a k would be equal to three forty two. So a k that is the sum is three forty two by two, so one seventy one. Right. So this is option A. Right. This was a very simple sum. Now I told you right. Most of the sums will be a bit. We are to figure out, but once you figure them out, you will need to apply basic algebraic techniques to solve them. Okay, so I hope this was quite easy for you. I explained it to you step by step. Now, when you are calculating this in rough space, you don't need to write so much. This was just to explain you. All right, the fundamental concept is we are using the laws of identities that we learnt in like class six or seven, and we are simplifying the numerator and denominator, making it into something that. looks recognizable to us and then using the summation all right so where can you go wrong here you can forget about these two right that is why one of the options was something like 343 by 2 or 345 by 2 where you might accidentally write 343 plus 1 right you might go wrong there because you have changed the sign so please be aware of the positions where you can go wrong and then you will probably stay clear of those all right so easy sum no tension here and i hope i could explain this to you in simple language all right so question 10 is done i will see you all in question 11 bye